In the negotiation room, you and your partner will sit opposite the other team, whilst two judges sit beside you. As this is a simulated commercial scenario, business wear is preferred, and this could reflect in your scores. Alright guys, these are your confidential information. The judges will hand out the general information and the confidential information. From here, the teams have 20 minutes to prepare for the negotiation. You should come prepared with a notepad, a pen and a timer, which could be your mobile phone. In the 20 minutes of preparation time, a judge will assess how well you and your partner plan your strategy. This might involve splitting who will lead on the terms, what your targets are and what your non-negotiables are. Alright guys, that's your 20 minutes of preparation time up, we now have 25 minutes to negotiate. Good afternoon, my name is Reese. this is my colleague Vinity. We are from Haven LRP representing Eco Development. When the negotiation begins, you should introduce yourself to the other team with your name, your colleague, your law firm and the client you're representing. Uh, yeah, should we just start on rent? Actually, we have an agenda plan. We begin with rent, then we move to term length and we finish with subletting clubs. Vinity introduced an agenda and didn't jump in straight like Lucas. This shows good planning, communication and sets up a more structured negotiation. So in regards to the length of the term, uh, we propose a 15 year term length. Um, the location is right next to the motorway and obviously this is very attractive. Uh, no, our term length is 10 years. And that's it. With the decline of high street and the growth of the e-commerce, I suppose that we can come down to a 13 year length. No, 10 years. Vidity used commercial knowledge to justify a compromise between the two parties, and although it is not necessarily wrong of the other team to be stubborn here, they were blunt and without a justification. This shows poor flexibility, which is essential in a good negotiation. Um, our clients have told us that they can't pay more than £40 per square metre per annum, and that's non-negotiable. Tareem has claimed her client cannot go above the £40 per square per annum mark, and that this is a non-negotiable, but if we look at her confidential information, Marys were willing to pay up to £50 per square per annum, and slightly more if a certain clause was agreed to. Dream has lied about her non-negotiable, and the judges will mark her down on ethics. Okay guys, you have five minutes left. So to wrap up what we've agreed on, uh, we've agreed to £60 per square metre per annum. In the final five minutes, you should conclude the negotiation. This means going over your agreed terms to make sure that the other team and the judges are on the same page. It was a pleasure doing business for you. The pleasure's ours. Yeah. We agreed to the high rent, so you should agree to the 10 years. You should never ask the other team to compromise simply because you have. This is bad negotiating. Instead, find commercial, legal and economic reasons as to why the other team should compromise. Uh, we're not too sure about the 15 year term length because our site could lose its viability. Keeping eye contact with the person you're speaking to is always a good idea. But a break clause is essential. I can't do this. Aggression is never the answer. At the end of the day, negotiating is meant to be a productive environment where both parties benefit from the deal.